going to be doing a review on the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This is the esteemed bottle here and I have to say that one, it looks absolutely beautiful. It is so classy and elegant, has a silver cap and an almost frosted kind of bottle. And this is extremely expensive. According to the SK2 website, it is $100 for this tiny bottle of 75 mils. It is made in Japan and my dad actually got it for me as a present when he went to Hong Kong. I probably wouldn't have bought this if I hadn't been gifted it because it is, again, very, very expensive. But I want to share my thoughts on it because I know this is a pretty controversial product and some people love it, some people think it's overrated. First, I'm going to read out the description on the SK2 website and then I'm going to compare that description with my own personal experience of using it. So SK2's signature product, the much loved and most awarded bestseller, Facial Treatment Essence, has over 90% Patera, which we'll get back to Patera later. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not actually sure. It could be Pitera. Who knows? I'll put the text at the bottom on the screen here. SK2's miracle ingredient discovered over 30 years ago that remains essentially unchanged till today. Its irreplaceable formula gently exfoliates the face and helps regulate the skin surface renewal cycle. In just 14 days, your skin's five dimensions are visibly transformed. Spots are less visible, appearance of wrinkles is reduced, skin texture is more refined, firmness is improved, and radiance is beautifully elevated. Skin becomes breathtakingly crystal clear. And this is based on awards received between 2009 and 2012 apparently. Not really sure what awards those were. But anyhow, it says the texture of this is this pure and lightweight miracle water is quickly absorbed into the skin. Now for the texture, I actually think this has a really nice texture. It's just basically a water and you pat onto your face and it absorbs, I guess, pretty well, but you can't really tell how well water is absorbing into your skin, if that makes sense. As you can see, it is a very thin liquid, so it is like patting water onto your face, which I guess is good if you don't really like thick creams on your skin. This is really, really nice. It doesn't sting your skin or anything at all. It's very light and very gentle on the skin. So those are kind of the pros, I guess. And I did use it last night and this is my skin without any makeup. It's just lighting and this is my natural skin. So as you can see, my skin is pretty nice. However, my skin changes every day and I'm not sure if that's because of this product because I don't use this every day because I want to conserve this bottle because it is very expensive but I do use it on occasion and when I do use it I do notice that my skin looks brighter, looks clearer, looks a lot nicer but on other days it will just not look as good and it will just be kind of really dull. I don't know if difference is really this product or if it's any of the other products that I'm using and I don't think that it has that much of an effect that it is worth the $100 but if you did have the money to spend then the minimal difference it might have might be worth it but for someone that doesn't have the money to spend I don't think that it would be kind of worth your money to spend $100 on a product that only has minimal differences to your skin. It's interesting that it says gently exfoliates because it doesn't obviously have any beads or any scrubs or sugars in this product, which is actually good because that is very abrasive to the skin. So physical exfoliation is a big no because that is very, very irritating to the skin and apparently it regulates the skin surface renewal cycle. So apparently the spots are less visible, the appearance of wrinkles is reduced, skin texture is more refined. So, you know, that is kind of like what I've experienced, like my skin does look a little bit better, but it's not like crazy different that I would have this as a stable product. Like it, it might be a little bit different, but it could be placebo, I don't know. Or it could just be like I'm washing my face more thoroughly when I use this because I usually use it at night and that's when I kind of really go in with my skincare and use all my other products as well. And the big thing about this is the Patera. So Patera is actually a copyrighted ingredient according to SK2 and they probably did this so that they could have you know a monopoly over the ingredient however i am a bit wary of ingredients that are copyrighted because it means that other companies can't do the scientific research in order to back up the claims that this product is saying it has because sk2 is the only one that can actually 
do the scientific research and make those claims and those results could be skewed in whatever way they need for marketing purposes. So that's why I'm a bit uh, about that because again it can't be verified and it can't be a reliable source if it's only coming from one company and the company that is selling this. So that's really my overall thoughts about this product. Please let me know your thoughts if you've used it down below, if you think it's amazing, it's a miracle product. Should I go out and repurchase this once I finish this bottle? I have been using it really sparingly. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's amazing or do you think it's kind of a sham? Let me know. I really hope you guys enjoy this really fun, lighthearted kind of video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below. Click the notification bell so you can get updated whenever I upload new videos and follow me on Instagram. Twitter, TikTok, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.